What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about P Company. We're gonna be talking about my thoughts. Would I advise you to do it? Do I think it's a good idea? And everything in between. So just before we get started, I am gonna do another Q&A video and answer your questions on anything to do with the military and anything to do with the application process. The last video was very well received. There was loads of comments and loads of questions for me to answer for you guys. So if you do have any questions for my next video, then please drop them in the comment section down below. If you didn't know who I am, my name is Kyle. I used to serve in the British Armed Forces, I served in the Royal Artillery, and I was part of the British Airborne Forces. So I have got a little bit of knowledge and I'm hoping that you guys have got some questions for me so I can answer them down below. Without any further ado, let's get into the video. So do I think that you guys should give P Company a go, whether you're going down the infantry route or if you are just going down the all arms route and you want to get a trade in your army career? And the short answer is yes. I think everyone should give it a crack. I think it is definitely something that is going to challenge a lot of people physically and mentally and get you out of your comfort zone. Even if you walk away with a fail, it is something that you can look back on and sort of reflect. But majority of the time, the people that are looking at doing this are heavily into their fitness and they sort of want to push themselves to, to the limit. And I think it is a good way to go about your military career. Step out of your comfort zone and um, try and be the best that you can be. Um, and obviously with that comes reward. You'll be paid a little bit extra if you are part of 16 Air Assault Brigade and Airborne Forces, you get an extra 170 to 200 pound a month um, for having them wings on your shoulder, which is really, really good. Um, and it also just gives you that sense of pride. Um, there's nothing better than being handed that maroon beret on the parade square. So should you give it a go? Yes, I think you should give it a crack. Um, it's worth having a go at and it's worth going through the experiences, even if it is a bit of a struggle at the time. The next thing I want to talk about is going to be what is the hardest event? I know we've jumped from, do I think you should do it? Which was yes. And now I want to talk about what the hardest event was. I'm going to speak about my experience. I spoke about this um, a little bit further in one of my other videos, but to me, the hardest event was the log race. And I'm pretty sure anyone that has done P Company that is watching this video can pretty much back me up on this. It's probably the hardest event on P Company. Um, it's very, very fast. It's around about 1.8 miles carrying a log between the team. Um, the log is not light at all um, and the staff are not pleasant throughout it. You are motivated, let's call it, throughout the race. Um, and you're up and down undulating terrain. It's very, very difficult, very, very fast. You go through tank tracks that are filled with water, which sort of shock your legs and take the, the sort of drive out your legs. And it's very, very difficult. And I'll be brutally honest, I told you people about this in my old video, I came off the log. Luckily still passed because I did well and everything else. However, I came off the log and that's why I think it was the hardest event for me. It takes a lot of grit and determination. And obviously with that, um, if you come off the log, you have to stay on the stretcher, which is around about five miles um, carrying the stretcher at the shoulder. So um, you need to stay on one of them sort of determination tests and, and I stayed on the stretcher, but um, I definitely found the log a little bit harder than the stretcher. The stretcher, you get a bit of a break when you come off it and you have to change between the team. Whereas the log it is just you and your team and for people that are watching this that have done it, you, you soon realize that people start falling off your log and you have a lot more weight to carry um, and it becomes a lot, lot harder the longer the race goes on. And like I said, you go up some crazy hills and down some crazy hills um, and it's just a very, very fast event um, and it takes a lot of determination, a lot of grit to get through it. So that's my take on it. So if you are thinking about doing it, be prepared to be hanging out on, on that event. Like it's very, very difficult. So guys, I'm gonna end this video off with um, a little bit of advice. If you are someone that's want to go parachute regiment or you are wanting to go one of the all arms um, airborne forces sort of roles, definitely check out Nick Thwaite's channel. I'm gonna link his channel down below. I think his name's Nick Thwaite. He's just done a documentary on some of the parachute regiment lads, parachute depot lads going through um, P Company. It's probably one of the best documentaries I've seen on it, even better than the one um, that was on um, TV. It's very, very good, very in depth. I think he's an army officer and he has done a very cinematic sort of video documentary style where it talks to some of the candidates going through it, but it also has a little bit of a narrator over the top of it as well that explains some of the events. It's a very, very good watch. Um, if you're interested in going down one of these roles, then check it out. But from me guys, if you are gonna give this a crack, then get focused on your fitness, get focused mentally, um, and be ready to go when you either get to the depot or when you get onto your pre-para when you get to your regiment, because it, it's very, very fast, it's very, very challenging, and it's very, very demanding on the body. So guys, I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you all enjoyed this video, quite a short one. 
However, we're going to be coming back with a Q&A video over the next couple of days. Um, as long as you all drop your comments down below and I'll be answering them nice and quickly on a video like this and I'll put your questions on the screen. So please drop them down below. Catch you in the next video.